I've had a lot of different experiences working with students uh, doing research, both independent research and working on me and some with my on some of my research projects. Uh, I had a student who worked with me very closely on a project on presidential elections in Chile. This was the first election in which there was a, f a female candidate running for office. Uh, she was elected. And so we looked at the media coverage of the election and the um, re leading up to the election to see what kind of role gender differences played in media coverage. I had another s group of students actually work with me to develop case studies about uh, different countries in the Middle East to look at the role that the United Nations played in shaping gender policy in Iraq and Afghanistan, for example. And those were pieces of a much larger project. So we would meet once a week and sit down and, and bring what we had done that week to kind of build the project as we went along. I had two students work with me this spring on projects that they brought to me that they had come up with, uh, which was really a lot of fun. The first project was a woman who uh, had followed New Hampshire politics very closely, and she learned, as many people around the country and the world have, that New, the New Hampshire State Senate is the first legislature in the country that has more than 50 percent women as of the last election. So given her connections to New Hampshire politics, she wanted to find out what difference does that make? How did this happen? What does it mean that we have 50 percent, more than 50 percent of women in the State Senate? And so we did uh, a review of the literature. We worked very closely together on, on reading. We met once a week to talk about what she was learning. And then she actually was able to interview several members of the, the state Senate and people who work closely with the Senate uh, to, con to confirm or disconfirm some of the hypotheses that she gathered from the literature. And then I had another student who um, had done a lot of work with various non-governmental organizations in Latin America. And she really wanted to develop a way to provide some kind of um, service to give back to the organizations that she had worked with and also learned from. So she, she read a lot about non-governmental organizations' use of the internet in the developing world. And she was trying to figure out a way in which she could help groups gain access to the internet not just by consuming information, but by actually producing the information and using the internet in a different way. And I have to say that she was able to come up with a way to involve groups in Latin America to a much greater extent um, than we'd seen for any other groups uh, in the region. And it was really exciting to see her put together pieces from the academic literature, from her own experiences, from a talk on campus from the head of the CEO of Google, and put these things together and build this project that really makes a huge contribution to how we think about development. 